In this video, we're looking at units of volume. I have here a fact which is in the imperial system, eight pints is equal to one gallon. And over here I have one litre is approximately equal to one and three quarter pints. One litre is metric and the pints is imperial. Now let's imagine that the cost of petrol is one pound 40 and for paying one pound 40, you would get one litre of petrol. And let's try and work out the cost of one gallon. So I'm trying to find one gallon. Well, first of all, I'm going to be saying that I know that one pound 40 is going to be equal to one and three, is approximately equal to one and three quarter pints. Because I know that one litre is approximately one and three quarter pints as well. So one pound 40 is approximately equal to 1.75 uh, pints. Okay, I need to change this into gallons. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find uh, what one pint is worth so that I can find eight pints, which is the same as a gallon. So I am going to divide both sides here by 1.75. If I divide this side by 1.75, I'm left with one. That's why I'm doing that. I've got my uh, approximate equal sign down here. Dividing by 1.75. So on my calculator, I'll be doing 1.4 divided by 1.75. 1.4 divided by 1.75, which is going to give you 0 0.8. Okay, and that's uh, in pounds. And I've got my one here, one pint. So I've worked out that one pint of uh, the petrol is approximately equal to 80p, or 0 0.8 pounds. Okay, I'm still trying to find my gallon, so I'm gonna multiply both sides by eight because I know that eight pints is one gallon. And if I multiply my 80, 80p by eight, eight times eight is 64. Therefore, this is gonna be six pounds 40. And that's gonna be equal to eight pints. And eight pints, we know is equal to one gallon. So let's have a look at this one. So solve x plus 2x equals 12. So what do you think you do first? Okay, well, I want x on its own. So I would put x equals 12 minus 2x. Okay, so a lot of the time we want to get x by itself. But what we want to do first is get all of these x's together. So can you see anything we can do with this? Get all these together in one place. Oh, okay, it's 3x, isn't it? Yeah, so absolutely. 3x equals 12. Oh, and so x equals 4. Brilliant, spot on, well done. Well done. 